Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill and welcome back to Victoria 3 playing as Japan. It's 1851. My camera is a few millimeters further down. I bet you wouldn't have noticed. And we're already the number 12 great power. It's 1851. Appointed bureaucrats is coming really soon. We are quickly trying to develop as much administration, get shipyards, get ports, and finally start to develop our actual infrastructure. This is to say I want to actually be building things that are useful. We do need more coal and tools. Uh, I still can't build a railway, but I will be able to build one very soon, which I'm very excited about. Lots of really nice industry and manufacturing is about to be built. I just... Oh, I need it to come along. Let's go, let's go. We are running out of money. I'm a little concerned about the fact that my tooling workshops are actually kind of bad. But my steel mills are actually starting to make... Like, this actually makes... All the steel that I need for this one thing. Is, am I doing Bessemer? What am I doing? I'm doing railways. If I change this tool workshop to use steel tools, it would use 240 steel. So maybe we should think about getting the steel mine mills up a little bit. The pecking order. And then once that's done, we can move it over. But coal as well is definitely going to be high up on the list. We rush out shipyards. We are about to fall into debt as well, which is very unpleasant. Very frustrating. But it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm really pleased with the path of us right now. Once we have appointed bureaucrats, if you're not aware, uh, hereditary bureaucrats gives 25% bonus to the shogunate, whereas appointed actually gives 25% to the intelligentsia. So I think we will be able to kick out the intelligentsia as soon as that is done. Also, we have... Uh, I may need to go straight back to... I What's legitimacy? What's my legitimacy? Not too bad. I might go to very high taxes, and I might start to turn off some of this stupid stuff that doesn't actually make me any money, like fruits. So I can actually try to speed this along a little bit. Like, I really don't need that much stuff. There you go. And that also means we could think about getting an extra construction sector built, because I'd really like to pass this. We've got lots of gold mines under construction over here. Okay, why are these gold mines out of order? Please build them. Thank you. Oh, and that has turmoil. 51% turmoil. What the heck? Okay, everyone's standard of living immediately went down. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's just hope this passes. All right, we got a law debate success. We're 31% now. I did change up the taxes again because I was really worried about the massive problems we're going to experience. Uh, still on very high taxes. Oh, the 14k is a big problem though but that was railways which is really nice uh so we could i don't know we could we could do stock exchange pretty useless in terms of laws for me we could try to go for intensive agriculture because i'm a little bit concerned about my food or we could try to go the bessemer process i am tempted to do that let's get the bessemer process together and let's also start with this we also then want to be getting our motor industries and the best place to build it would be kansai but we have completely out of infrastructure so chubu so kanto will be the best place for that we've already got one going okay good stuff must have clicked it too many times and building the railway building the motor industries and the steel mill is underway underway as well kind of need that as a priority please and then we can change things over a little bit and start making better stuff the lack of construction i mean we have a lot of construction but i need even more i really really do so let's just hope we can make this work. All right, we got the two steel mills now. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this workshop to use iron and this workshop to use steel. And it's going to make it almost impossible to actually create enough steel because of the efficiency problems, which is going to temporarily really hurt. But then this place is going to hire like 8 trillion people to make steel, which will really help. Just hurry up a little bit. Yeah, it's a lot better. We might even need to have another steel mill. Kind of picking up there. The, the gold mines are very slow. It's a problem. But the moment that gets finished, everything will be fine. Look at that. We're at 96. It's actually hurting my tools, but it's getting a little bit better. Because it's getting a little bit of a penalty. It's fine. This is going to make tools cheaper for everybody. We just got a brand new leader of the intelligentsia. And he's very popular. And a political orator. We're fine. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, we just got, once again, the Shogun intervenes in political process. Which is very nice. This does make these guys a little bit more upset but it's 20 percent enactment success chance that's pretty good i'm happy with that it slows me down but it's fine 
It's fine. I'm very sorry, everybody. I have to go to very high taxes. Please forgive me. I can't do it. It's too expensive. I've got half a million. In c I I've got to do it. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and I cut down the labor cost of this because unfortunately no one <laughs> no one wants to work in the gold in the literal gold mines. But let's see if I put railway on this. Let's still make. OK, that does help. That does help. Makes a little bit more cash and it uses some transportation, which is very nice. And we can start making lots of it. And as soon as the point of bureaucrats goes up, I am going to suffer from a lot of bureaucracy loss. So I might start considering getting a lot of taxation capacity bonuses. Ah, oh, there's appointed bureaucrats. Okay, that increases our intelligence, our political strength by 25%, and our taxation capacity massively. So, let's see what this does. We are now making 27k, and there's the bureaucracy loss. That's actually not too bad. Ooh, because of the taxation capacity increase. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's really, really nice. We're making money now. Okay, okay. How about the government? 29%. I want the shogunate out. What can I put in instead? That does that's not good. Um crap. Okay. Can I please have someone else? No. Okay, what about the monks? I can put the monks in, but it doesn't help. Yeah, that doesn't help. Okay, okay. What if I put the the, the rural no. Nope. The samurai? Nope. Okay, so that doesn't help me. I still need to move away to a republic, however. I gotta get voting. Census suffrage. We gotta get census suffrage. Universal would be better, but I don't have egalitarianism. 14% chance to occur. It's really pisses off the shogun. <laughs> oh my god. I might try it. Um, because it's the intelligentsia and the industrialists who want it. So, but wealth voting would piss everyone off a little bit less. Wealth, wealth voting actually could be a good idea. Going census might not be as smart. The wealth threshold goes, to be honest, it's about the same because most people don't even have 15. Ooh, this isn't the worst idea. I mean, I would prefer, I think wealth voting is the way to go here. Let's, let's put in wealth. I don't want landed. So let's give this a try. Again, it's, can I put the industrialists in charge as part of the government? I absolutely cannot. Okay. It's just going to have to be how it is. Let's hope we can pass it. At least we have per capita taxation. You know, it's something. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, so only the military has tried to join to preserve autocracy. The shogunate are chill because they are actually still in government. So this is actually really good for us. And as soon as we pass this, we can kick the shogunate out. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to finally remove them from government. I'm very excited. I, I really want to lower taxes and make people's lives better. But I just can't. I think I just got to keep up the construction sectors going. I'm building as many railways as I can and just try to improve things a little bit. We also need to think about food because holy crap, do we not have any food? We quite literally have nothing. The Buddhist monks are now no longer influential. They are just powerful. I cannot wait to kick the shogunate out of government. Yes. All right. It just failed a passing attempt. It's, it's not good. It's not good at all. We're, we're suffering. We're suffering. We're going to get rid of the taxes on meat to try and speed this up a little bit because our low autocracy is causing some problems. We're also going to get rid of this clothes tax, and that way it should be done a little bit faster. But, oh, it's taking a long time. At least we do now finally have intensive agriculture. This means we can get chemical plants, but also we're going to have a lot of very nice things. I was trying to see if there's any way I could maybe increase the number of intellectuals, but it doesn't look like it, but that's fine. So we're just going to go down to livestock ranches, and this is going to give us 80 fertilizer, which is very nice. Thank you kindly. We're also going to get more meat. So that's 80 fertilizer. If we did this, that would use 280. So no, but we can at least do this, which uses only five. And then we can go to our biggest farm and do that, and that's most of our fertilizer. And that's cool. That's going to help a lot with our grain problems. Which is something. Oh, it's something. And I guess we should be going towards more, uh, like, societal fixes as well. Like, egalitarianism is great. Central Archives is great. Let's do stock exchange. Try to fix the country. And think about building our very first chemical plant. Apparently, it really wants to be in Kansai. There's that beautiful stock exchange. It really doesn't help me very much, but it does mean I could maybe think about passing some slightly better laws. All right, up 10%. We're at 17.9. That's pretty good. There's a chance that this could pass. I'd really like it if it did. I am tempted to go to very high taxes again, but we'll see. We now not have a chemical plant making some fertilizer, so we're going to just make sure we are starting to produce a decent amount of food by upping 
God damn it, where's my rice? Where is my rice? I upping the number of places that are using fertilizer. There it is. Okay, so immediately putting us in a shortage. That's okay. Because there's lots of unemployed people in Kansai, which means they will start to make a ton. How is sulfur? Sulfur could be better. This is the dopamine. This is what I like. Why is Kyoshu not got a railway going? Because it's not hired anybody. Okay. Could you could you do that, please, Kyoshu? You have. Excellent. Good boy. We have finally fixed our tool problem. I'm so pleased. We are kick ass now. We make enough tools. Can we can we use that anywhere? Is it, does anyone want some spicy tools? No? Okay. Oh my god, look, we urbanized. <gasps> we did it. I didn't wasn't even trying to. Loyalist from standard of living. Yes. Give me loyalism. Thank you. We're now making a ton of money, and this means more construction. Let's go. Start really amping up the construction. Let's try to get to 200 before 1860. Okay, we just got another law debate success. We're at 29.5% chance. That means this thing has got to pass, surely. Come on. I believe in you. Okay, the leader of the samurai has just retired, and now he these guys are relatively unhappy, but he's still kind of lame, and he's wrathful. Okay. It just makes him kind of lame. That's fine. He's, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We're okay. Behold, education. People are going to start to be smart soon. I love it. We are still very limited based on our literacy, which is, it, it's honestly a bit of a problem. I'm going to leave the society tech for now. And I think maybe, I don't know, I guess Bessemer process and then maybe nitroglycerin later. Yes. Okay. That's wealth voting. That's so good. 1855. That is not bad. This means we can think about finally kicking the shogunate out of government is there anyone i i could fix this well no i guess the problem is that this is going to create an election in 182 days let's go oh that's nice that's good i'm gonna kick everybody out of the government who's not the int intelligentsia and the industrialists okay and while the problem is this is causing some problems <laughs> i am gonna try and kick out every other element and start to oh man look at that I can't even enact laws. Ow, ow. Screw you. And then we're just going to start suppressing them. Let's go. Right. I panicked because I had a revolution. Don't judge me. I'm in between I've reloaded. I did panic. I tried reloading, but then realized I didn't get a save. And now I haven't got wealth voting. I'm not going to reload 18 times in a row. I'm just going to have to do this again and not screw it up next time like I just did. It was just so stupid. So we're going to not pass wealth voting. It's going to take another year or something. But now we have paperwork of elections. It's going to lower my bureaucracy or enactment time. I am going to lower my bureaucracy. That does hurt my economy quite considerably. Freaking out. But we're just going to build some government taxation buildings. And we're going to make it work. Okay? We're going to make it work. Okay, for some reason, Great Britain has just begun a... What? Great Britain is trying to ban slavery in Bastar. And this means that they are fighting... The East India Company, their own dominion. This is going to collapse India. Surely. What the heck? Okay, they're only asking for war reps. They're not asking for independence. And now France is supporting them. That's that's going to be a world war. Okay. Wealth voting. There we go. I had to do it again. But it's fine. It took an extra six months or something, but it's good. We're here. Political transfer votes. Wealth hold. Fresh hold. It's all happy and great. We will now have an election. Hopefully the parties are decent. All right, the parties are fine. We do have 174 days. Apparently, unfortunately, the Shogunate are likely to win, which is a bit problematic. Their momentum's actually quite good. Ooh, that's not too bad. All right, here are the results of the election. We got the Shogunate here with its 23%. That is pretty tight. I like this. Let's add the Industrialists and kick out the Shogunate. This gives us 33. Okay, okay. Can't bring them in. I can't bring them in either. So, let's do that. They're pissed. They are pissed. They might try to do a revolution. But now, we can suppress them. Hell yeah. Get out of my house. We're now beginning the honorable restoration, which is very cool. And we can think about passing new laws. Oh my god, we could go interventionism. This would piss off the shogunate like crazy. We could move away from isolationism. We could. The shogunate literally hate everything. We could go to mercantilism, at least. That could be good. It would stop us being in freaking isolationism. Oh, this is this is not too bad. We could go to education. That would piss off the monks quite a lot. So maybe we can't do that. But this is the stuff. Uh, they don't like that either. Can we, can we get rid of... Do you hate... No. Okay, but the rural peoples hate that. 
because I wouldn't mind no migration controls, because then I could actually move people around. I do like the idea of protectionism. Interventionism would be so freaking good, but they hate it so bad. God, they hate it. I think that radicalizes them too much. I just want to see if they will get pissed off at me. Let me see what they do. Are you going to get pissed? They do not seem to be getting pissed. They are angry, but there's no... This is okay. 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 Another jingoist, which supports professional army and clone resettlement clone exploitation. Okay. And now the intelligentsia are actually powerful. This is interesting. I want to try something here. All right. I'm trying to pass protectionism. I want to see how pissed it makes them. It makes them very pissed, obviously. They are angry, but it does not show them revolting. Okay. It's so now at minus 18. They may revolt. And if they do, we're going to have to run away. Uh, yes. Okay. To preserve isolationism... They are trying to be radical. Look at that. It's only 7475. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. Uh, we're going to try to pass it and see what happens. We're, we're trying to improve the lot of everybody right now. Grain and wood and coal. Get tax of luxury clothes and tea. The problem is, is that tea is very expensive. Uh, you know what, though? We might... Well, you know, if we get rid of meat, let's put tea on and... That's actually all we can do. At least we can speed that up a little bit. Tea is a lot of money. I really would like to not... Because the attraction of interest groups in government really weakens you if you keep it on very high. Oh, good. The Ripper. Thanks a lot. Great. Thanks a lot. This is going to hurt my reserves quite a lot, but we might be able to fix this a little bit. I was really hoping we could try and get the gold mines more highly employed, but it's just not happening. We've got as much luxury tax as we really can afford, unfortunately. All these all cost so much authority now. I hate it. <laughs> Please. We might be able to get protectionism. And remember as well that they are going to slowly go down from their pissed offness from autocracy because it's minus eight every year or so that goes down. So it's not too bad. We might be able to fix this, especially as more and more of our economy starts supporting like other industries and other cool things. We got lots of private construction. Apparently, it's art. You have to have as much art as humanly possible, it seems. Okay, great. What else are we missing? I think it's grain and wood. So I think I think just more wood is the smart bet here. Uh which of these just makes which of these just makes the freaking Oh, it's because you've already fucked oh, aren't you? Alright. Um God damn. More coal, more clothes. Over here, I think a lot of this stuff right here. Try to get some grain together. Trying to make you know food a little bit better for us here. We really do need a lot of food. Okay, let's go. And there's the best summer process. That does help. It does improve our economy. Uh, up government wages. We could indeed up government wages. We can't afford a meat tax, unfortunately. This would cost me 9,000. Holy... Oh, because it would get me more... Ooh, that is more efficient. Let's do that. Nice job. Nice idea. Ooh, we could go to dialectics and try to get more intelligence. Or we could get banking to get even more minting. Because right now, minting is 34,000. So if I got 10% more, that'd be pretty good. That would be... That'd be 3,400. So that tech is worth over 3k. And it only takes five months. Especially as we continue to, to fix and improve our economy. Getting protectionism is just... It's just so good. It stops us having... It means we can trade as well. It means we can finally start to grow our economy. And, more importantly, if you're not aware, by not being isolationist, it means you can finally have trade. And this means you can have trade centers, which means you can hire tradespeople. And they join trade unions. They join the industrialists. They join the intelligentsia. Look at that. The radicalism is going right down. I think it's because they are starting to get very, very weak. And I love that. Ooh. Okay. This is good. Now, here's an interesting thought. What is the... If I change these guys to line infantry, this hires more officers. Okay. So the problem is that more officers are slightly more likely to join the shogunate. So it's not a good idea to do that. What if I change to cannons? No, that doesn't really do anything. Okay. So we don't really care about that. But this economy is doing just fine. We're still massively improving the intelligentsia. The only thing is, is that to be honest, I now don't care so much about them. I think I maybe more care about... I more care about the industrialists. So let's stop bolstering them and let's bolster the industrialists instead we got to get them going uh we apparently got steel mills oh yes <gasps> steel 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 give me steel give me steel where the hell is my steel mill there it is number seven bessemer process fantastic that is so much steel love it and once again we're gonna need even more railways maybe it'll pass who knows okay i just did a great trick 
of going down to low taxes like crazy and it gave me a lot of eight success and i did that really fast because it instantly put me into contested government that's fantastic so let's go back up here so we're not completely broke a 25 percent chance enact protectionism let's go all right while that keeps going we're going to continue the development of our economy we've almost finished all of our buildings that we were building actually so again it's wood and grain holy crap though i can import grain from someone as soon as i get protectionism it would be good to be at least slightly independent and i think more and more i'm gonna need a lot of coal like the amount of coal that i need is kind of ridiculous and of course as ever more iron we've got plenty of steel now which is good i would really like it though if i could continue to have better consumer industries and this is are they both are both of these clothes mills no one of them is making uh domestic clothes good this one's making both this one's not making both i would prefer oh we actually make more than enough oh that's fantastic we could export them then excellent and yeah just keep going get some silk right now we are a little bit light on silk and i might change this to vineyards because then we could start to make some wine and then with the wine we can actually start to make you know another industry which is good more people buying goods the better i'd say holy crap chobu needs some freaking railways once again what a surprise come on how is our transportation i think about it we actually have a lot of transportation so what i might do is i'm i could go to public trams but actually it doesn't make a difference so i'm not gonna do that uh, i am gonna put railway here to try to reduce the amount that's there and i might do rail transportation like this but it's, it's just gonna cost people unemployment it's not worth it it's not worth it Let's just turn off the railway for cargo prioritization to give me more infrastructure instead. And with banking, we are back in the positive, which is so good. Oh, that's that's a spicy meatball. Uh, proportional taxation would be great, but I'm going to start going down the route of water to boiler now, which I really should have done a while ago. In fact, I'm surprised that I have not yet. I'm a, a little bit dis disappointed in myself. Then we got to go nitroglycerin it because then we can really start to explode in terms of our development. We are making a lot of money now and our construction needs to go up uh, concurrently. And by 1870, I would like to be on steel frame buildings, but I think it's going to take a little bit too long for us to get there. Oh, the extra infrastructure for modern sewerage would be so good. What is the infrastructure that you actually get for population? Um, it is only 60 so to be honest yes yeah, 60 from pops so it's just an extra 20 it's basically just a flat when you're when your states are basically huge you're just a flat 20 infrastructure bonus which is pretty good i think there is a good chance of this passing which would be really cool oh, could maybe try to get our government back in order we could get the rural folk in as well do they support they don't support Shh. okay great stuff thanks a lot guys thanks a lot you guys suck it's fine carry on developing hawaii is improving relations why not why not and europe is basically untouched and boring which is fine but i would prefer that it would start to collapse a bit and my gdp could start to overtake theirs i think that would be fun because i want to be cool you guys appear to be perpetually hiring people which is interesting Let's just see if protectionism passes because that's going to be muy bueno there's protectionism we no longer are isolationist. We are a spicy boy country. We are powerful. We are strong. Now that is that is very nice. Ah, oh, it's good. Look at that. Our tech spread's gonna go up. And now we can have trade routes. Oh my god. I can have interests. Oh yes. Give me the spicy interests. I only just want the one. This is worth it. And I believe that that should be a sufficient quantity. I can already do it from the Qing market, the British market, and the Hawaii market. Surely you'll give me... Oh, give me the grain. Yes. Fabric. British market. Coal. No, no one ever wants to trade me coal. They hate me. Okay, but what about exports? What have we got loads of? We got chairs. No one wants my chairs. Liquor. No one wants my liquor. That's rude. Glass. A little bit of glass to China. Let's do it. A little bit of paper. Let's go. This is going to start making money. It's really valuable to do this. I know it doesn't seem like it's much, but it starts to hugely impact uh, your economy when you can actually start grinding this. That's so good. And these guys are going to start getting weak as hell. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. We are still in an unacceptable government, but that's fine. We can now think about moving our laws. Uh, we could try to get rid of our freaking migration controls. That would be so good. Oh my god, we could get... Oh, of interventionism that would make the shogunate radical unfortunately in fact everybody hates it 
Just, just everybody. <laughs> oh, God. And maybe we, oh, we could make the intelligentsia. Oh, yes. Let's get private schools. This is great. We're going to fix this. In the next episode, we're going to be continuously per, uh, getting strong. And unfortunately, the Shogunner are just about to fall below 20%, meaning we are just about to start the Honorable Restoration. And that means we're going to finish exactly, exactly. Oh, no, we have an insurrectory resident. Uh, are they insurrectory? They're a little bit, yeah. But it means we're going to be almost exactly to the correct timeline. But that's fine. I'm enjoying this as well. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I hope to see you in the next episode. And I was Aldrin. I'll continue to be. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.